In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some kitchen organization, how I reorganize my spice cabinet. guys and welcome back my name is Sharon and in today's video I'm going to share with you some kitchen organization my Amazon packages have finally arrived so I'm going to share with you how I reorganize my spice cabinet let me show you what I got so I went on to Amazon to find seasoning and spice jars as well as some containers or baskets that I can use inside the lazy Susan where I keep my seasonings here are the packages, my merch have arrived. So let's take a look. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. What are your top three seasoning slash spices? Let me know, leave a comment. And I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. What is this? Oh, these are the labels that I ordered. So uh, while I was ordering, I ran across some spice labels. Uh, these are clear labels with black lettering and cursive. And these are clear labels with white lettering. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? With white lettering. These are, uh, And it's all spices, which I thought was kind of cool. I think I'm going to use the white. And um, I think. Don't hold me to that. We'll see. And but I love the, the print on the black ones too. Artichoke seeds, caraway seeds, cayenne, chives, cardamom, curry, barbecue season, bay leaves. And I think that's what these all have. Arrow root, basil, uh, uh, celery flakes, um, chili, cajun, ancho. So anyway, I ran across the seasoning labels and I decided to get them in both black and white. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I got eight ounce spice shaker glass jars. Um, it's a pack of four in each box. I was going to get the four ounces, but I was afraid that four ounces was not going to be enough. And I was a little concerned because I also felt like eight ounces may be too much. I don't usually keep eight ounces of much of anything other than uh, garlic powder and onion powder. Uh, but most everything else I keep in, in smaller amounts to keep it fresh. I use it in a timely fashion and then re-up on it. Um, but I was afraid that the four ounces was just too small. And I decided to go with the eight ounce. Um, again, these are glass jars. With the shaker tops. That's one of the things I did want. I don't, the, the, the silver ones, the other ones that have just a screw top, you know, that you just take the top off and use it. I prefer the shaker top because that's usually how I use it. And of course, I want the option to be able to pour as well. So that was another reason that I ended up getting the eight ounces as opposed to the four ounces because I couldn't find any four ounces that had the shaker top. And, and that was important to me. I didn't want to take the top off and then I think that I would get them back on there, but when other people are borrowing my kitchen, I didn't want them to have to lose the top or put the top on wrong. Again, I, I, I apologize. I'm a tad anal and I don't want the cayenne lid on, I don't know, the, with the bay leaves. I'd rather just pop the lid and season whatever I'm going to season. Or if I'm making a mix, then I can open this side, pour it in to my container and make my mix. But again, these are glass and this is plastic. There's four to a box and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got a total of 32 spice jars. You know, I just realized that my smaller ones didn't come. I ordered some smaller ones as well. And then I, I also ordered the cook rack, the cookware rack. 
in a different cabinet, not the spice cabinet that I'm working in today, I have all my different cookie sheets and pizza pans, and they're getting a little out of control as well. So I thought I'd pick up one of these, which would help me to keep those organized, but that's a different cabinet. And then this here is my box organizer. I'm going to use this inside the Lazy Susan in the same cabinet that I keep my spice and seasoning jars just to keep the, the press and seal and the, the, the wax paper and the parchment paper and the aluminum foil in an organized fashion. So I picked one of these up too. Boy, they just kind of threw these in here, didn't they? And so these are the containers that I went with. Uh, again, as I said, that cabinet is a Lazy Susan. So these containers I thought would be really helpful in the bottom where um, I just keep larger items. Some of that stuff I can probably get rid of. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to purge a lot of things on that bottom shelf. There really probably shouldn't even be there. But I thought this would also help to uh, keep me organized. And I believe I got three of these. These are the Lazy Susan cabinet bins. There's one that's two and yeah and then that's three and I also got the lazy Susan organizers that are uh, tiered I only got two of those and I'm gonna put these on the top shelf uh, more towards the center um, I usually keep the ones on the left I'm left-handed I keep the ones on the left those are the ones that I go to every day my onion powder my garlic powder my salt my pepper uh, my red uh, crushed red pepper flakes those things I use every day so I keep those on the left and then in the center where I figure I could probably make some more additional space by tripling up since there's three levels of spices here so I believe I got I've got two of those so I'm excited. I'm ready to get started. Uh, as you can see, the cabinet definitely needs it. First, I am going to unbox all of the spice jars and put them in the dishwasher. And then I'm going to put the, the tops, because they're plastic, I'm just going to put those in a sink of hot water. And while my spice jars are in the dishwasher, I will offload all my spices out of the Lazy Susan and I'm going to clean it up. I have spices all over the place. Um, most of it is pretty current, but I do have some seasonal things that I use around the holidays that may not be as fresh as it could be. I love this truffle zest on my popcorn. And when I went to Italy, I picked up some more. And ever since, I never run out of truffle zest. Of truffle zest. I like it that much, especially on my popcorn. And my Himalayan sea salt. I used to, um, I sometimes get this at Home Goods, but because Home Goods had, has been closed for a while, I got this one from Wegmans. When I talk about my go to seasonings, garlic powder is one. And I'm not married to any particular brand. I usually get whatever's on sale. I got this from um, Food Lion, I believe. Um, and then my onion powder. I got my onion powder from Costco's. I got my Lowry's. You can get Lowry's anywhere. Those are probably my top seasonings. Onion, garlic, Lowry's, and of course, salt and pepper. I'm a big fan of lemon pepper as well. I put lemon pepper on almost everything that I have that's seafood. Almost. Uh, lemon pepper or I'll do Obey one of the two ranch seasoning packet i also had some ranch in the shaker i prefer I, I mean it all depends on what i'm putting it on whether i'll buy the seasoning packs or whether i'll use this it all depends i like these in um cheeseburgers ranch uh cheeseburgers are the bomb my latin version of my lowry's my uh cesaro <laughs> cesaro um, I've got some smoky paprika. And remember I was telling you about the ground mustard and I couldn't find it. It was gone. And so I had to go out and purchase another one. This is the new ground mustard. I hope to keep it. Red pepper flakes. That's one of my go-to spices that I use every day. And, uh, see, look, there's the ground mustard. 
I couldn't find it when I was making macaroni and cheese. So um, I couldn't find it the other day when I was cooking. So I ended up having to buy some more. But whatever. <laughs> I got two of them now. That's why I crossed out chives and used rosemary. <laughs> so now I can have a dedicated jar to my rosemary that comes out of my garden. And I've got some Herbe de Provence. And that's almost gone. I believe there is another one. I thought I had a second one in here. I do. I have another one here. My Herbe de Provence. I like that on chicken. And then of course my Italian seasonings, my basil. Basil is my favorite herb. Um, so I keep that right in the front. Italian seasoning. Um, I got some dill. I use dill a lot when I'm making my ranch dressing. I love homemade salad dressings, and this dill is perfect for ranch dressing. I have some seafood seasoning that I like. I like this on salmon. If I don't do a lemon pepper salmon, um, then I will use the uh, white fish or salmon uh, blend. And I find it's really just a blend. It's got a little lemon pepper and maybe some herb de Provence, and I think I taste a little bit of thyme. I think in here I like it though no that's parsley this is see what I mean and they're both open then I've got some uh, fennel seeds I had made a turk not a turkey a chicken sausage and I had uh, from scratch and I used the fennel seeds in there it's not something that I use often but I do have it and I have some curry powder which can go in a container I'm glad to uh, be able to put it in a spice jar and then I've got some Lipton onion soup. I also like to put these in cheeseburgers. The seasoning is fantastic uh, in your meatloaf or your cheeseburgers on the grill. And then I've got some sage. I use sage a lot uh, when making my um, dressing around the holidays. And I also use poultry seasoning. Um, this is my nutmeg. I use that for pies, sweet potato pie in particular. I have some ground turmeric. I often use that when I'm making butter chicken, curried butter chicken. I have some cloves. I love the way cloves smell. Around the holidays, I tend to um, let these simmer in the kitchen. Uh, it smells so fantastic. And around the holidays, when I had a home uh, listed on the market for sale, I would often simmer cloves in the house to give off that smell when someone would come in uh, for a showing and take a look at the property. The uh, cloves would be simmering on the stove uh, in the wintertime, usually like in the fall, in the winter. And it always made a difference. They always thought it felt like home. <laughs> then I've got some vinegars. I've got um, a red wine vinegar. I've got an apple cider vinegar, I've got some olive oil, I've got some coconut oil, I've got some balsamic vinegar, I've got some confectioner sugar, and I've got some brown sugar. I've got some organic molasses, and I've got some vanilla extract. Strawberry extract, I've got some almond extract, and I've got some banana extract. And then down here is where I'll be putting the um, the box organizer um, for my storage bags. My foil. Sandwich bags. Parchment paper and wax paper. Um, I also have some oven bags. I usually cook my turkey in an oven bag. And um, I think I have one left in here. Nope, I've got yeah, I got one left in there. I got some chipotle powder, red curry powder. I've got some more bay leaves, Turkish bay leaves, and I've got some ground cumin. And some toothpicks for hors d'oeuvres. So I have a bag full of uh, plastic cutlery um, so that when my husband or whomever is taking lunch, they don't have to take my silverware. They can take these and dispose of them when they're done. So I'm going to keep these. It's called the Frozen Herb Starter. So I can harvest my herbs from my garden, bring them in, and put them in one of these containers with some filtered water and freeze them into cubes. And then I just drop that cube into whatever sauce that I'm making that I need to use those herb for, herbs for. So in these I can take and dry my herbs and put them in here and it has a shaker top on it. I'll be using those too. Offload all my spices out of the Lazy Susan and I'm gonna clean it up.
If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I enjoy cooking and I'm pretty good at it. At least that's what everyone who eats my food tells me. I also use a lot of spices, but my spice cabinet has gotten out of control. And now that my children have began to cook, they tend to move my spices around. I'll admit I'm a little anal and I have them alphabetized, but when other people come into your kitchen and cook, they don't necessarily respect the process like they should. So my spices are all over the place. When I go in to cook something, I have to hunt for something. Um, I'll think I'm out of it, so I'll purchase some more and come to find out I had a half a bottle. It had just been moved someplace else and I couldn't find it. The other day I was trying to find some dry mustard because I was making homemade macaroni and cheese and I couldn't for the life of me find the dry mustard. So I bought some more. But needless to say, after I bought some more, I found the dry mustard. So. I've decided I'm going to reorganize this. I may not necessarily be able to keep it in alphabetized order, but I certainly can make it look pretty. just got my delivery for my four ounce clear glass square bottle spice jars so that just came just as I was filming and this is what I'm going to use for the smaller ones I have 32 8 ounces and I have 24 4 ounces I will leave a link to all of uh, my parcel packages that came in today they are the shaker top with the three holes. So cool. Such a large label for such a small bottle, but that's okay. I don't usually have that much. I usually create my own cinnamon sugar. And that's what I have in here. So I'm just gonna transfer it over to the jar, to the four ounce jar. I love the way my spice cabinet looks now. It looks like something off of Pinterest. And I like the labels too. They really make a difference. What are your top three go-to seasoning slash spices? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.